Hi there, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be getting to my setup and walkthrough of this beautiful Kiki K pink lavender planner in the size medium, which is equivalent to personal if we're talking about Filofax or other brands. I did do an unboxing. A lot of you guys requested for me to do my setup video once I had it set up. So it's been set up for about two weeks. I've had it for longer, but I was just waiting for some things to come from Etsy. If you want to see this planner in more detail, I'll put the unboxing video up top for you guys to check it out. Little disclaimer before I open up my planner is that before I discovered the planning community, I always used a planner, just very basic pen to paper. I was also really into crafting with paper crafts. I like scrapbooking and making my own cards. So when I discovered things like there's Erin Condren's and there's Kiki K's and Filofaxes and what people were doing with them, it became a huge new hobby for me that I really enjoy and so decorating is just as important as the functionality. So anyways, <laughs> before I popped her open I wanted you to know that because I do really love to decorate my Kiki K, especially right here in the front. When I open it up, it makes me so happy. It's also been a really fun conversation starter when I go places and I do take along my planner in my purse and I open it up and people see it and they're like so intrigued. They want to know what is this all about and I think I've converted some people to the planning community. <laughs> or they think I'm crazy, I don't know. But I do have a lot of things here in my pockets. I love the way Kiki K sets up their pockets. It's great for decorating. I'll try to get through everything in here really quickly, but I will also have all the shops that's in my planner linked down below. So, first of all, I have a lot of paper clips, journaling cards, and of course some Target uh, dollar spot page flags that I thought match this beautiful theme. This planner is so me. I love the pink, the purple, the gold. Uh, so anyways, this paper clip is a replica of my favorite pin cup a lot of us planner girls have from the Target um, stationery set area. And this beautiful sparkly rose came from the same shop by Little Miss Daisy Rose. This cute sparkly fox with the gold crown came from Sugar and Spice Kauai. My name clip came from Paper Princess Plans. And then I have some journaling cards from my collection um, and stash but there is this one special one that I did receive in a Two Little Bee sticker order that I really love the message on. It says, life is like a camera, focus on what's important, capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things do not work out, take another shot. I love to read that. I think it's a really inspirational message. And then below here, I just have a freebie that came with my divider order, which these are amazing dividers. They're by Cardboard Couture on Etsy. They are two-sided, gorgeous quality because they're laminated and you cannot even tell. They have just the nicest edge to them. And I have that paper clip down with a Kate Spade floral clip. And then this clip here says Glam and it is by the shop Willow Field. She's got a really great variety of paper clips. On my first divider, I have this beautiful journaling card that was custom made for me by one of my favorite sticker shops that does a lot of foiling, and that shop is called Clever Gal Crafts. I told her what I wanted, and she made it, and it's so beautiful. It says Planner Queen, and I washi taped it on with some Simply Gilded washi tape. On my dividers, I have these labels, which I purchased by Planner Kate. She's got a really great variety. I think you could probably find any category you need, just about. So I just think it looks really nice and classy on there. Otherwise, it would be blank if I didn't have these stickers. And they're easily removable. So, as you may have read, the very first um, section I have here is called Calendar, and I am using so much crafting inserts. So we go into the yearly inserts here. So this is just one page, year at a glance. I have another year at a glance here with a little bit of a bigger um, look. So I did kind of color code on it. Uh, yellow is like school related 
activities. Purple is anybody's anniversary. Pink is anybody's birthday. And blue is holiday. So we're over here near the end of August. So for instance, here's a blue. It says in September 5th, there is a holiday. So then I could go to this pull out insert also by um, so much crafting and figure out what holiday it is. So it is Labor Day on September 5th. I used a tripless, uh, one of the Stadler tripless fine liner pins to write in all of this info so I could look at it. And then I just keep it nice and tucked together with this penguin uh, paper clip I got from a pen gems order. And then going on into the monthly inserts, I really do not um, go too all out in my decorating. I do love to use some labels that are made by a shop called Planning Made Perfect. So if you're looking for a shop that makes stickers for so much crafting inserts, that's a shop I recommend because they're also removable, which is like awesome. Because if you have these, you know there's not very many stickers that are removable. And so then we go into my weekly section and I actually have two different sets of so much crafting inserts. These were the most recent set that I had purchased and I was really excited to get this week onto page in a vertical setup because I am more of a visual vertical uh, planner because I've always been a lister. And it gave me a little bit more room than the first set that I purchased, which is also in here. So you'll see, I did plan with me's in these, loved it. And then what happened was I did quite a bit. Life got really chaotic and I basically had to stop doing my plan with me's because I wasn't finding the time to film them. And I'm so, so sad. And since I only had like one set, I kept thinking throughout the week I would get it done and I wouldn't. So I have all these blank inserts here. I'm going to come back to my plan with me's guys. I promise. And then maybe I'll just go back and back plan. So anyways, before I show you where I am kind of planning right now, I'm sure you're probably wondering where this came from. This is by a shop called Ashley Designs. It's very nice, hardcore quality today marker. I love it. So then after this set of inserts, I took one of the Recollections dividers that came in the Recollections planner and I just paper clipped a little peach palm clip to a scrapbooking page because this is nice and clear and gold foiled and I just wanted that pretty pink to pop through. I do have some of my favorite like Target page sticky notes, whatever you call it, sticky notes on top in case I need a sticky note. And behind here is my second set of inserts. So these were the first set that I purchased. It's the week on one page with the grid on the other side. And so this is what I was kind of using in conjunction with these. And now it's all I'm like kind of using in here until I get back to the plan with me's. So those are those. And then we get into my next section, which is called my home. And what I did is all of this here is amazing. And it came from a recollections book. I'm loving their new planner line at Michael's. Not to mention how affordable they are. Each book is like $4.99. You could use a 40% off coupon or wait for a sale. So um, I do have a few books. The one that we're looking at here is the one that's called To Do. And it's so easy to just pull out the pages and they're pre-punched. They're already really cute and decorative. And yeah, I have not started to use these yet. I just added these ones in, but they have a lot of really awesome functional sections. And this section here is like some more um, areas like a running to-do list, a goals section. I really like it. I then divided up my home section with another recollections divider and I cannot for the life of me remember which shop made this really cute crocheted bow. I love it. It came in a swag bag from a local planner call meetup. Sorry, I cannot remember. Um, but anyhow, next comes my um, insert that I actually printed off for free off of a website 
really a long time ago, so I can't remember where I got this either. Um, but if you go on to Pinterest, you can find a lot of free printables. And this is something that I just printed off and laminated. And it's a schedule from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And it's what I want my day to look like, along with some to-dos and other info that's just helpful for me to look at on a daily basis. And then we go into the Sweet Kawaii Designs, Get to Work Cinderella, um, little chore tracker so you have a daily chore section and a weekly chore section Monday through Sunday check it off um, I love to put my habits here or things I want to do um, since I am a stay-at-home mom these are very helpful I also have this little section that I made out of some graft paper also from another recollections booklet it's this one here it's called I'm too busy and these are great to make your own like inserts your own trackers whatever if you buy craft paper from Etsy. It could be pretty expensive, so I loved this. And what I did is I broke down my days into cleaning zones. So Monday is like my kitchen and my laundry day. Tuesday is the front room, the entry, and the porch. Wednesday is the master bedroom and a load of laundry of bedding. Thursday is the bathrooms and a load of laundry of the towels. Friday is the spare bedrooms like the office area which is also shared as a craft space and then my son's bedroom and then the weekend is when we do yard work pretty much mostly just have lazy time and family time so I made those and then I go to my personal section and over here I actually have some sweet quiet design um meal tracking inserts they were in the home section which is where they kind of belong but i was having a hard time finding them so i just put it here in the personal i'm the one that figures this stuff out anyways and then i also have a really cute little market list um from a target dollar spot pad of paper so i could write down things that i need to pick up from the store what i've done to pretty much every insert and every notepad piece of papers i have Put the slits next to the rings so that I can pull in and out pieces of paper, throw some away, take some with me if I'm not taking my planner, without having to open the rings a million times. And then since this is my actual personal section, I did divide it with a Heidi Swap little Project Life card that I added some Mambi stickers to put my name down at the bottom. It's got this cute little clip by the shop called Hot Pink Fluff. And in here I have my Sweet Kawaii Design, Where'd All My Money Go, Spending Trackers. These are really helpful for me so that I am watching my spending. And then I have some more Target Dollar Spot pages. I made one a wish list, which uh, doesn't have a lot. <laughs> my one in my Erin Condren has a lot more on it. And then I just have some more spare pages. Then I have a miscellaneous section because I didn't have any better name for it, but this is basically where I do my social media. I have Sweet Kawaii Design filming schedules here, little inserts. I also have this on a graph piece of paper where I'm just tracking Etsy coupon codes. When shops give me a coupon code that I could share with you guys, I add all of them in a big list below in the description box of my video. So you could go ahead and check there. And in fact, I just recently got like one or two new ones that I need to add to that list. Here's just some notes for videos, some free music I could add because you gotta make sure it's free or you're gonna get in trouble on YouTube. Some little editing notes I was making there and some spare Target Dollar Spot pages. The last tab here is lists and I have another really cute like coffee cup paper clip by um, Willow Fields and it is kind of just covering up this paper in the back that has all of my bill account and passwords because I pay all my bills online if you're uncomfortable with putting something like this into your planner, you don't have to. I'm fine with it. I'm not sure anybody would even recognize that it's there. And if they want to pay my bills, they could pay my bills. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I have this little insert that came from my Kate Spade and I just added it in. It's just family and friends, birthdays and anniversaries on a list here. And then I also have addresses. I actually have them written down. Um, I'm just too lazy to transfer it to anywhere else. They're here and they haven't really changed. 
This is from my first Filofax on cotton cream paper, and I just had to cover it with some blank ones so y'all don't see and get somebody's address that doesn't want it to be out in the known. I divided my list section with another Recollections divider, which is clipped together with a cute Kate Spade bow clip another little scrapbook piece of paper because um, I love these I just love them so anyways I wanted to put them into use and that is breaking up the list from the non list basically I have blank pages this is also some more paper I got from a booklet from a recollections little book here it's this one make cool stuff when I saw some plan with me's where they were using these with the jelly roll pins. I got so inspired and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get that. But I have horrible handwriting, so it's a goal. And we'll see, but I cannot do it right now. But they're in here because they're fun to play with, with, uh, yeah, jelly roll pins. Then I have some of that recollection paper that came with your planner. And I think it's just great quality paper. Some Filofax colored paper, some extra Target dollar spot paper for notes. This is probably my favorite pad ever. I love it, it's so cute. It came out at Valentine's Day. Then I have this little pocket, which I got in a four pack from Staples because I was tired of using my Filofax top loading pocket. It's just too hard to get things in and out of. And I just have some stickers. I have tons and tons of sampler stickers. So I just grabbed a few in hopes that I would start using them up in my personal. I got a bunch of different shops. Kena Prince, Glam Planner, Little Miss Papery. Yeah. And then I have those little labels that go in my monthly by Planning Made Perfect. And then just some really pretty little glittery stars there. So I'm keeping some stickers back there. And in the back side, I have a picture of my son and some coupons for when I'm out and about at the store. And also when we get some fast food coupons, those are good to put in here too. So if we're going, you know, we're out and we want to pick up some fast food, I could be like, hey, we got some Burger King, buy one, get one free Whoppers in here or something like that. So the last thing I have in my rings is this um, fly leaf material. You could buy a sheet of this at the scrapbooking section in Michael's and I just cut it down to size. It makes it so that everything turns nicely. So if things kind of get caught in the rings, it doesn't cause any indentation to my paper. This thing keeps it all nice and turned. There was a notepad right here. I always remove them because I like to have more bulk in my rings and I don't tend to use it because I add in all that extra notepad paper. And I cannot remember where this came from. I've had it for a while. I just absolutely love the um, gold pineapples and last but not least I have my pen gems in here one of my pen gems I thought this one kind of matched the best for now and I did accidentally get a little pen mark on here which is the one thing that I kind of don't like about the Kiki K's is having the fabric in the back here and this is such a light color and I'm afraid to clean it because behind here is just some cardboard if you've ever nicked your Kiki K and know what to use uh, to get it out or if you've gotten a pin out safely let me know in the comments uh, that would be so nice and so helpful so anyways that's everything that I have here in my Kiki K planner I hope you had fun looking through it with me. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit it so I can see you again next time. And until then, have a beautiful day. Okay. Bye-bye.